I really try not to lie to my kids. It's I re, I was doing that at the beginning and to try to get them out of the house or to try to go into a play date or things like that. And I just realized quickly that it wasn't gonna work for me and I'd rather be honest with my kids. Yeah. No, but we uh we had a really good situation. It was really it was like really we got great. really close and really tight. I, I enjoyed it. That's really awesome. Yeah. Pete Davidson has spoken up about how Kim Kardashian's kids have started referring to him as daddy. Needless to say, this was only followed by a lot of drama between Davidson, Kim, and her ex-husband Kanye West, who is also the father of these children. During this time, Kanye West is making every effort to show that he is extremely unhappy with the ongoing situation. Whether it be through his songs or even direct statements, the rapper has strongly spelled out the fact that he is not at peace with his wife seeing other men. These developments continue to get more interesting as Ye releases each statement more interesting than his last. So, what does Davidson send regarding Kardashian's kids and where does Kanye stand in this matter? Let's talk about it in this video. It wasn't too long ago that Kim Kardashian legally divorced Kanye West, shortly after which she started seeing Pete Davidson. This automatically resulted in a lot of drama particularly due to the fact that Ye would accept anything except his wife going out with another man. According to TMZ, Kanye, age 44, has engaged a new lawyer to change things up in his custody dispute with Kim, age 41. Due to his busy touring schedule and globe travel, sources close to the Donda rapper indicate that he will most likely return whenever time allows. Because of Ye's travels, putting up a framework around the Christmas and Thanksgiving holidays is said to be impractical. When Ye returned from a tour in the past, the Keeping Up With The Kardashians alum allegedly assisted in making his visit with the kids easier. The flashing light singer is said to have recently reconnected with his children for Sunday service, and the ex-couple is said to have an open-door policy when it comes to custody. According to sources, if Kim and Kanye are overly detailed with their custody arrangements, their court battle will turn extremely nasty rather than calm. Pete has previously been referred to as dickhead with the rapper accusing him of destroying their family and threatening to beat his butt. It was also very recently that the Keeping Up With The Kardashian star officially became a single woman, but that did not come without a series of complications for everyone involved. Kim is officially single according to TMZ following the court battle. Kim attended the hearing via video conference, but Kanye was not there. Kanye's lawyer did not oppose Kim's status as a single woman being restored, but he did so on three conditions. Also, interestingly enough, the reason Kanye allegedly objected to Kim's desire to be deemed legally single was because he was concerned that if she remarried, she would shift part of their assets to her separate accounts. Kanye West has been vocal about his feelings over his divorce from Kim Kardashian on social media, and now the 44-year-old rapper is using his music to work through the unpleasant specifics of the breakup. West had a live listening party for his new album Donda 2 last week, and he didn't hold back when it came to poetically deconstructing his battle with Pete Davidson, his parenting issues, and his lost love for Kardashian. West has been outspoken about how his parenting is altered following his divorce from Kardashian, and he claimed in January that Kardashian barred him from accessing the premises to wish his daughter happy birthday. My daughter wanted me to go inside. I was like, I am the richest black man in Norse father, right? And the security was able to stop me from going into the room with my daughter. He shared with Hollywood Unlocked. In an apparent reference to this occurrence, Wes released a tune called Security on Donda 2, in which he rapped that he ain't getting frisk and will put security at danger in order to visit his children. In the song, Wes continues stating, Never take the family picture off the fridge. Never stand between a man and his kids. As an apparent dig to Kardashian's new boyfriend, Pete Davidson, who Kanye has repeatedly and publicly attacked on social media. West also released Flowers, a rap song in which he says, I am a flex, imagine your ex face when he finds out. I am the best, you hit the top, wait till they found out. He not a threat, send him a text, put him on timeout. This might be a reference to a recent text discussion between West and Davidson, which the 28-year-old rapper released on Instagram and vowed he would never stand in the way of the rapper of his children. No, you will never meet my children, Wes answered. Wait, when I pick them up, I feel like they borrowed. When I must return them, scan them like a barcode, the rapper sings in the song True Love, implying that Kim Kardashian is hiding his children from him. Kardashian was not there at this occasion, unlike during the listening parties for the first release of Donda, and any prospects of reconciliation appear to be off the table for them. On social media, Kanye West pleaded with God to help him reconcile with Kim Kardashian and his children. West captioned a collage of photographs from his estranged wife's Vogue cover shoot, 
God, please bring our family back together. Kardashian, who was seen with her four children, she shares with a Donda musician, speaks positively about co-parenting and the couple's protracted divorce in the March cover story. You could be so hurt or angry at your ex, but I think in front of the kids, it always has to be your dad's the best. Kardashian, who is currently 41, told the outlet, Make sure you are your co-parent's biggest cheerleader, no matter what you're personally going through. West's latest Instagram post comes after he recently wiped his Instagram feed of all previous claims he made about his estranged wife, including that she was keeping his children from him. West, age 44, also alleged that Kardashian believed he was putting a hit out on her, and asked his followers how he could stop his eldest daughter, North, age 8, from posting TikTok videos against his will. Here is what Kim Kardashian had to say. Kanye's constant need for attacking me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. Kardashian wrote in a statement on her Instagram story last week. As the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children, I am doing my best to protect our daughter while also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision, because it brings her happiness. The Skims founder continued, Divorce is difficult enough on our children. And Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and publicly is only causing further pain for all. Kardashian's remarks prompted Kanye West to accuse her of kidnapping her daughter Chicago for her fourth birthday party. What do you mean by the main provider? America saw you try to kidnap my daughter on her birthday by not providing the address, West wrote in a now-deleted Instagram post alongside a screenshot of Kardashian's statement. In February 2021, the former Keeping Up With Our Kardashians actress filed for divorce from West, with whom she shares boys, Saint age 6 and Psalm age 2. Kardashian is now a comedian Pete Davidson's girlfriend, as Wes has moved on to an open relationship with Julia Fox. On January 23, 2022, Kanye West and Julia Fox were first sighted in Paris, France. Julia Fox, on the other hand, is disclosing more facts about a whirlwind affair with Kanye West as time passes. In an interview with the New York Times published Thursday, the uncut gems actress, age 32, discussed the backlash she's gotten since being linked to the Donda artist, age 44. It's not real, said Fox. It's only happening on the internet. I'm not actively engaging with it. I don't feel it. I'm still 1000% me. Nothing's changed except, I will say, having been around Kanye was like a crash course on how to be famous. Fox has also posed another interesting question that inquired if she and Kanye were exclusive. Here's what she said. I don't think so, before denying they dated for attention. I mean, there were definitely elements of it that were real. The actress also dismissed rumors that she was interviewed for the role of West's girlfriend as crazy, claiming that she never signed a non-disclosure agreement. In terms of whether she and Wes were formally dating, I don't think those words ever came out of my mouth, actually. It definitely felt like I was his girlfriend, but it also felt like I was being cast in the role of his girlfriend and he was casting me. He was the orchestrator of it all. It really did feel like a movie. Despite parting ways with West, whom she refers to as the ultimate stuck queen, Fox claimed that she isn't concerned that he would reveal the details of their relationship. Meanwhile, Kardashian and Pete Davidson were also caught holding hands just a few weeks later on October 29th on a roller coaster at Not Scary Farm in Buena Park, California. People claimed at the time that they were at the Halloween event with Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. Barker, of course, knows Davidson through their common acquaintance, Machine Gun Kelly. Us Weekly says that other pals were in attendance as well. What are your thoughts regarding the complex love triangle revolving around Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson, and Kanye West? Do share your thoughts in the comments below.